Hey y'all, it's your baby mama Jamila. <laughs> Picking up this camera today, okay? And I woke up maybe at like 9 today. Because I went to sleep kind of early. I stayed up so that I can call and check on my mama. And then I talked to my brother because yesterday was his birthday. Halloween. Like we, our birthday. My birthday is on the 30th. His is on the 31st. So, yeah, they were over there um, chilling with my mother. So, I get to tell him happy birthday, like, in person, not on social media. And, yeah, I'm up cooking me some food that I can have. Because, you know what? If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. You know, then I want to be, like, going for those quick snacks. Because, you know, if you've been pregnant before, you'll be all good one second. And the next second, you starving. So, you're just reaching for whatever. But, in the oven here, I have some roasted potatoes. These type of little thin skin potatoes, I love them. Like, I'm not in the mood to be putting, peeling potatoes. And a head of broccoli. And I just did a little olive oil and some seasoning on it um well i seasoned the broccoli and the potatoes separately and i already sorted my husband out he didn't ate some jollof rice with some boiled eggs for his breakfast and it's a little bit left for me here it's just the bottom of it it don't even y'all this pot was super duper high when I tell you the rice was like all the way up here when I cooked it. And there was about, well, all, the rice was all the way up here when I cooked it. I'm telling you. And I think I told y'all that I had put a little um tomato paste in it this time. So, but like I said, this is the end of it, y'all. Probably should have showed y'all once I put me some in the bowl. But I honestly don't know what I want to eat. I think I want me an um. A smoothie or whatnot. They sound good to a man, okay? So, and what I'm finna do over here is I get me some buckwheat groats. Please don't sleep on the buckwheat groats. You know, it's more out there in this world than just rice. You know, I prefer, well, I like rice, but I like black rice. If you never tried black rice, it takes longer to cook, but it tastes good. Like the flavor It's really, really nice. And I like the uh, basmati rice, but honestly, I just started back eating rice. I didn't eat rice a lot, especially not white rice, but let me show y'all. This is the book we just had a look. I think I got there for like seven, seven pounds maybe. So I'm gonna cook it, but um I'm just gonna season it, chop while I'm cook um put a chop up an onion and a bell pepper, um a couple of stock cubes, you know, like that. Give it some flavor like that. That's how I'm going to cook it. I ain't going to just cook it plain. But I probably should just cook it plain because um, sometimes like if I have this leftover. Like say I make a curry or a stew or some lentils or something like that. If I have some leftover and when I cook it plain the next day I add vegan butter, soy milk, and like stevia or maple syrup, cinnamon, honey. I mean, not honey, cinnamon, and um, what's it called? Vanilla. Or like some um, erythritol or something like that. So, this is usually what I be using because I always be telling y'all sweetener. You know, but I usually use like, um, Steve, like I said, stevia, um, maple syrup. But he be expensive sometimes. Delicious, but expensive, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, that erythritol, something like that. And if I if I don't have one of those and I'm really in a pinch, I will use some sugar. Cause my husband, he he um, well we have sugar, but we try not to use it. You get what I'm saying? But it's there because my husband bought it a while back, like a long time ago. So it's there. If I'm in a pinch, I will use a bit of it. 
ain't no shame and it's the worst type of sugar too like white refined sugar okay so i'm probably this is i don't know what i'm doing with this camera or with this chopped up turkey this is the rest of the turkey remember my husband went to the african store and he brought back this turkey so i'm gonna make that for him somehow um knowing him probably another stew because it'll last him a few days so probably because if i just fry it like boil it and then fry it they won't last that man long oh yeah and i want to show y'all an update on my garden so we finna go out there okay y'all i'ma uh Cut the camera off and show y'all once I get outside. Bye. Focus, man. Okay, yeah. Okay, I knew I had something else to show y'all. So, that big old box that was in here, this is what was inside. Um, Her stroller or pram, if you're from the UK. My, my husband put it together. It's the little, little thingy. I don't know what that's called, girl. And her car seat. Yeah. There's just some old baby stuff down there in that box. Little odds and ends. But yeah, isn't this exciting? Look at the tires on it. Girl, I can't wait to get on X Games mode, okay? Walking down the street. All right. Look at that. <laughs> well, I'm super excited for this little girl to come. But I knew I had to tell y'all something else, y'all. Can't be keeping secrets now. <laughs> but he covered this up because I don't know. He just he want everything to be perfect and clean and everything for when his baby gone. And that is awesome. But yeah, we're gonna go outside. It's such a nice day today. The sun out for a pinch. And I do mean a dang on pinch. Okay. <laughs> but it's always exciting that the sun is out over here. It don't happen often. But yeah, we finna go outside. Because I need to change shoes and stuff. Alright y'all. This is an update on my little garden. Remember those? Those were um two spinach and two kale. Two kale. Swiss chard, it was covered in leaves. So the Swiss chard, look at the leaf. He already so already a leaf back in there. This is spinach. This is just a different different varieties of lettuce. Let me get this in. Oh my god, y'all! Ain't that exciting? So exciting! So exciting! Just want to update y'all in case y'all was um, interested in that. My little Swiss chard. The Swiss chard was really, really covered in um, leaves. So I just need to make sure I'm coming out here more often and checking on them. But all in all, thumbs up. Y'all, I do want me a smoothie, okay? It's some frozen bananas, a red apple, a green apple, some greens, a hunk of ginger that I cut up, a piece of cucumbers in there also. And I'm going to, for my liquids, I'm going to be using some of this soy milk and, and this pickle <laughs> I don't know why they call it gherkins, but in this pickle jar, I have my um my little tea blend of nettles, red raspberry leaf, and oat straw. With uh, I think it's a little ginger in there too. So it had been sitting out, then I put it in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna use this strainer to put it in here, and boom! I'm gonna use some sweetener in it too. Or maybe a date. Yeah. But this is what I'm finna eat 
today is my first meal at 11 30. <laughs> okay so i'm gonna see y'all later because i'm hungry oh i didn't show y'all our um what is it our buckwheat this here is still bubbling away i added some tomato paste and some frozen frozen corn it's not quite finished yet so we're just gonna let it keep doing this thing Yeah, but I'm finna make this and then I'll see y'all later. Okay, I just took out the uh, roasted potatoes and broccoli. That's only one head of broccoli. My other one is in the freezer. This one was in the refrigerator. Because I had plans on roasting him. But anyway, I just poked these with a fork to make sure they was tender. And I'm finna put them back in the oven. And here go our aluminum foil right here. I took him off carefully. I'm going to wipe him down. And he going to have another purpose. Because <laughs> literally nothing is wrong with that. But I'm probably just going to use it to be covering this pan until I eat up these potatoes, honestly. And here goes the smoothie over here. I was like, why is it this weird color? But, um... I forget I used up my um berries. That's why I look weird like that. But it's so good though. Okay. It's so so good. Yeah, but I just wanted to show y'all that. And I guess I'll show y'all everything, all this here. Once I um once it's finished and once I get it plated up. Wow, that broccoli look delicious. <sighs> okay, y'all. I'm probably just gonna put it back in there for about 20 25 minutes just need to get a little crisp. Okay, y'all. Here is our plate. This is the buckwheat with the tomato paste, stock cubes, salt, pepper, garlic. Um Sliced orange bell pepper and red onion and some frozen corn. And it is tasty. This broccoli uh, is so dang all good. And there are our roasted potatoes. I make like a fry sauce with like um ketchup and vegan mayo and um some other stuff. I'm just putting some nutrition yeast on top of there. I ain't eating a lot because I did have this smoothie. And that is it, y'all. Your girl is about to eat. And it's so good. It looks so simple and basic. But trust me, y'all. It's the flavor for me. For y'all, see. All right, I'm just gonna eat. Peace out. Hey y'all. Uh, What's up? <laughs> Look at me, all uh, greasy and clean and moisturized. Minding my business, hydrated, drinking my water. You know what I'm saying? My husband is back there. Say hello. Hello, how are you? So he is about to go food shopping to the African store. Me, y'all. Let me just tell y'all something, okay? Do I need to cut the light on? Is that better? Yes, a lot better. So I had me some breakfast and stuff. That was earlier. Now I'm about to eat some of these. They good, girl. They good. Um, what else I was gonna say? Oh yeah. So, y'all, I need to um, I get my midwife's appointment tomorrow. I'm gonna be 38 weeks, y'all. 38. Didn't I tell y'all about the midwife? So. I know she gonna try to act like um 
you know, she trying to feel for the baby and tell me where the baby at. Because y'all remember um, 36 weeks. The day before I got my ultrasound, she, yeah, the baby is head down. She, she even, she like, give me your hands, give me your hands. You feel that? Yeah, that's the head. Girl, I went to go get my ultrasound <laughs> the next day. And they like, oh, your baby breached. So I had to get an ECV and all of that to turn the baby. So they turned the baby, she was head down. So <sighs> fingers crossed she stays that way. Yeah, but that's not the first time that the lady was telling, you know, was trying to feel for the baby and um all of that. So I usually have to tell her like, oh, she lays on this side, you know, or um, oh, you would get her heartbeat better on this side versus the other side where she be going. So maybe she knew, uh, you know, she a new midwife or something like that. But I just, I just met her maybe like two, two um appointments ago because i was seeing another lady and she was really really good my i mean this was she good too but she was gone like she was supposed she was the midwife assigned to me but she was gone for like holiday or something like that she was gone for her vacation but it's all good anyway and i already packed the baby's bag hopefully i already posted that video before y'all see this one that would be nice and um what else i need to pack my own so yeah you would think that i would have done that already but because procrastination is a thing that i i do sometimes i have it it's just that i got in my mind that this girl is gonna be she gonna stay over 40 weeks i feel like I feel like because she too comfortable. I'm too comfortable. This girl haven't given me no problems. All this trimester. The only thing I have is like some heartburn sometimes. You know, fatigue. I be hungry. This last... This like last uh, three weeks to a month or so. Your girl been hungry. Like, hungry. Even in my midwife's appointment the last time. Y'all, I had ate the world's biggest bowl of pasta. Then it was maybe like an hour and a half to two hours later, I went to the midwife. They checked my urine. They like, oh, you need to eat more. You have ketones in your urine. And I'm like, where did all them carbs go? I had ate so much gluten-free pasta before I went there. It was ridiculous. Like, Y'all, I was just, I was stuffed with pasta. And I'm just like, how did my body burn all them carbs that fast? So, that just confirmed to me that I'm not just sitting over here being greedy. That I actually am hungry, you know. Because I actually will feel maybe about two hours, three hours. I'm hungry. I want to eat something else, you know. So, I've been dealing with that. Okay. And what else? I don't know. I think I already showed y'all the... uh. Yeah, I think the last thing I showed y'all was the, the stroller and stuff like that that her daddy finally put together for her and her car seat. And it's another little thingy inside of here. It's like a little bassinet, like bed type thing. Y'all see that? Let me try to pull it out a little. Yeah, it's like this and it has a um handle it has a handle and a little like whatever that's called to go to it as well so let me put the plastic back on her because her daddy won't don't want nothing in on her stuff okay no dust no nothing he is not here for it okay <laughs> Y'all should have seen after, because I had washed all her clothes and all her diapers. Y'all should have seen how he had these clothes. How he was arranging them on the drying rack and stuff. Like they was made of like pure gold and diamonds. I said, look at that. That is, that's sweet. You know, and how he folded all her stuff up and just don't want it nothing. I don't want it to get dirty. Don't let the dust to get on it. <laughs> And I'm like, wow, how, he is going to really be protecting this girl when she comes out. But yeah, I'm super excited for her to come. 
But you know, honestly, y'all, this is my this is my husband's pregnancy. This has been his pregnancy. I'm just carrying his baby. I'm just I'm just the vessel, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, he has more than one pregnancy app on his phone, so that should be a clue to y'all that he is not playing any games. Okay. He know more about my pregnancy than I do. Okay. Which is awesome. Alhamdulillah, I promise you. I really like that he is so, so involved. I love that. But yeah, I need to pack this bag. And like I said, my husband was finna go to the African uh, market to go and get some things that we would need because y'all, Boris Johnson, that's the prime minister here. Girl, on the fifth, it's another lockdown. Like all the stores and all of that stuff is closing, okay? Because people wasn't doing right on Halloween, I guess. But really, he been threatening this lockdown for a while, y'all. And they they did lock down our area at one point. I guess they they taking it more seriously here than they are in America, as they should, as they should, you know. Because me, my husband and I, he has hair sanitizer in his coat. He always has one in his pocket when we go out. We always wear our mask, okay? I take my little bleach spray that I use, you know, to clean off my counters and clean off my groceries when they bring them. We use that, um, wipe down all the doors, all the light fixtures and all that type, you know, stuff we just touching all the time. The stove, microwave, etc., etc. We do that. Because I see a lot of people that just walking around with, they, with no mask on and all of that stuff like that. Which is, you, I can't even say it's fine because it's not. You know, just because you're tired of the virus don't mean it, it's just finna go away. It's just not. So, I just want y'all to know that, you know, <clears throat> if you, um, like when I'm walking down the street, I don't feel... Because in our area, like you walking down the street, it's not like it's crowded. It's when you walking up and down London. So, I usually will have my mask down because I'm pregnant and I can't breathe. And then once I get to where I'm going, then I put my mask on. Because it don't make sense to me just walking down the street with a mask on. And, you know, nobody's there. And I can't breathe. But, yeah. Just so y'all won't be concerned or anything like that. And I'm washing my hands all day, every day. Just like when I'm cooking. When I'm cooking, I've been to wash my hands and wipe down the counters and clean the same spoon like 35 times. Y'all do not. <laughs> I know my mom like, uh, yeah, yeah, that's her. <laughs> Even before coronavirus, I, I don't like mess. I do not like nothing nasty, y'all. But, yeah, I have a, um, what is it? I have a delivery coming tomorrow for groceries because like I said, it's going to be a lockdown. So we're just trying to get everything that we need at this time. Um, Yeah, just everything that we we'll need at the house to eat and, you know, all of that jazz. And um, I still been getting packages from my baby's registry. Um, that people have been um buying, and uh, me and her daddy been buying little odds and ends and things like that. Just trying to go ahead and get finished, get prepared for her. And that's why I say I want to show y'all like the journey of me like decorating everything. But honestly, I didn't. I just been focusing on like stuff for the baby, stuff that we need for the baby. Because <laughs> honestly, y'all, it wasn't until like. Eight months actually when I started buying stuff. You get what I'm saying? Like it was so surreal and then that's when I got here. Because my whole pregnancy I was in the States. I had went to go visit my mom in the in February and then because of all this virus stuff, I was stuck there until August. So late August is when I came back to the UK and um then I started buying stuff. Because it didn't make sense me buying all that stuff in America and then trying to get it back here. And it didn't make any sense. So, and then um, I didn't make my registry sooner because my husband and I already knew that we were going to um move. So, we wanted to wait until we got to our new place so that can be the address for the registry. 
yeah so I, we just started buying stuff but thank god you know that i do have the support and stuff like that from my family and um shout out to her uncle he bought her a bunch of stuff and um yeah my cousins they bought a bunch of stuff um yeah and even uh, a couple of people hit me up on instagram and they was like what's your baby registry and just bought me some stuff so her internet god mama bought her some stuff so that's nice and you know most of the time people just want to wait until the baby get out you know until the baby come before they start you know doing stuff and bringing stuff but i just want to know you know if i have her doing the lockdown I like like how how would it go you know because I don't know if y'all know about um you're about culture but you usually have like a naming ceremony for the baby and all of that like how can we navigate through all of that doing during this because most Nigerians you know they not into like gift registries and stuff like that they just like oh when the baby come you know everybody just come to the house you know and see the baby and bring stuff like that you know so i don't know i don't know because i feel kind of i feel like somehow about that you know because on one hand i want everybody to come see the baby then on the other hand i'm like uh it's a virus and she brand new you know she doesn't have an immune system or anything like that <sighs> i don't know y'all i'm torn i'm torn Okay, and I'm just sitting here in the kitchen talking to y'all because y'all already know the recipe of where my husband is on their phone. Have to be on speakerphone, full volume, him yelling, they yelling. That's, that's just that you would think it's a fight going on, but they just talking regular talk. <laughs> just a regular old conversation. But yeah, I'm finna go and um, eat these good old corn nuts. And then I'm gonna let y'all. Uh, Later on, okay. I don't know where my mind went just there. <laughs> Y'all, look what just came for me today. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I want me a memory card, but this is for my phone. Because let me just show y'all the ghetto. The ghetto. All of the time, my phone is with this little whack message on it, okay. And I don't deserve that. I don't deserve that, okay? But I'm just crossing my fingers that this will work properly because it <laughs> it costs like 12 pounds off Amazon. Mm. But I just bought this so that I can have some extra space. So because sometimes when I go out, you know, walk to the store, to the doctor or something like that, y'all be missing stuff. And I'll be wanting to take this big old camera with me, y'all. And then, but I have another like smaller, smaller like um Sony camera, but um I'm not good with keeping it charged. Just trying to keep the big camera charged is a job within itself. Okay. Yeah, this man here be on this phone running his mouth all the time about what I don't know. Y'all see what he's doing? He's getting in the habit. Of putting moisturizer on his hands mm. after he washed them. Mm. Cause you're not finna be around me walking around all this stuff like this, looking like you've been baking bread mm. all day. We're not doing that, bro. We're not doing that. Okay? we gonna act like we come from a nice home and that our wife take care of us. Okay? Boom. But it's just a little, it's just an old, um, it's just an old little hand sanitizer bottle. When I'm finished with those, I keep those and like keep them around the house everywhere and put a uh, hemp oil in them. That's it. So, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that. And I'm eating some corn nuts still. Yeah, but I'll holler at y'all later. Bye. But did you remember that the the, the um, trash need to go out to the place today? What? Did you remember about the trash for tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah, I'll do that when I come back. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, where's your shoe? Alright, y'all, he's gonna go. I know he's gonna finish eating. Um,
And I'm finna upload some videos to YouTube because honestly, y'all, I'm finna watch YouTube videos on this laptop and then I'm gonna upload them on this laptop and I'm gonna finish charging up my phone. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish, uh, what's that called? Charging up my phone. Because honestly, y'all, my video is so behind. I got so many videos. I'm still I'm, I'm uploading videos from 34 weeks, and here I am, 38 weeks. Girl, get your life. But I ain't trying to like bombard y'all with like video after video after video, you know, every day like that. Unless y'all want that, I don't know. I'm just trying to, you know, space the videos out. Why? I don't know. But I'm gonna figure it out, y'all. Okay.